Hi, I'm Al Corby, and for 40 years I've been protecting high-profile people from around the world. Today I'm going to show you how to make your home more secure. The first thing to focus on is the front door. Normal front doors are very easy to break through. All you have to do is kick it hard or put a shoulder into it, and you're either going to splinter it away here or knock it off its hinges. Simple to replace the hinge problem. Right now, hinges are held in by little three-quarter inch screws. All you have to do is go to a local hardware store and get inch to two inch long screws. Back out the little ones, put in the long ones. You instantly turn that whole side of the door from something that can be easily broken through to something that's almost impenetrable. It gets very, very strong. Door clasps are the same thing. If you look at the inside of the door now, they're very small pieces of metal with very thin amounts of wood protecting the door from being broken through. It is so easy to break this part away just by hitting a door hard or kicking it in. These units can be replaced by continuous metal bands that have both pieces in them that then use the strength of this entire area. Again, available from a local hardware store, but it'll do a tremendous job. The next thing you want to focus in on are glasses. All around doors, whether they're actually in the door like this, on clear stories on the side, or a side window. There's a product called ShatterGuard. It's spectacular. It's a film. It's applied. When it's on, you can't even see it. It makes the glass incredibly resilient. Landscaping's great for a house, but let me show you what it's not great for. You're coming home late at night. Got your car in the driveway. You're walking up. The last thing you want to be finding when you get home is me hiding here in your shrubbery, ready to grab you and have you let me into your house so I don't even have to break in. Keep this stuff cut back. Another problem that's common with most homes are exposed wiring, wiring like this. A burglar sees it, he either rips it apart and cuts it, you've lost your communications to the outside and your alarm. Cover it up somehow, hide it, and have a cellular backup system so if he does find the wires and he does cut them, you're still safe. The burglar's really not going to like this area. There's no shrubbery to hide behind. All of the glass along here is protected by this film, ShatterGuard. Very hard to get through. There are cameras, lights, strobes. He's going to move down the street to somebody else's house. Lighting's a great thing, but you only want it when you need it. Lights on motion detectors are great. You want them to go on, though, when the invader is getting close to the house. You don't want the lights going on too soon. When they do go on, he doesn't really know whether they went on because of a motion detector or you turned them on. That throws them off guard. What you don't want is something like this. You don't want lights that are on all the time. It really is a signal that you're probably not home, and it shows the invader exactly what he has to see before he breaks in. We've seen a lot today. Some good, some not so good. The important thing to remember is you can easily improve your family security. These simple suggestions just might save your life. Have a good day.